Hey, yo, yo, yo. What up, guys, and welcome back to another one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen on my story that, man, yeah, we got a shipment in. My buddy, Gerald, that I've been doing a lot of the pigeon hunting lately with, he went and bought himself 70 dozen dive bomb silhouette decoys. You thought I had a lot? I've been getting a ton of questions from you guys saying, hey, Bobby, can you use silhouettes only? They're cheap. I want to know if I can buy a bunch of these things, if I can still decoy geese. And let me tell you, this is this is proof in the pudding. I've invested money, Gerald's invested money, a lot of a lot of guides out here, guides, you know, big guides have invested in dive bomb silos due to the fact they're easy to put up, easy to take down. You don't need as many people. And for two, they are cheap. So for the price of full bodies, you can literally get three to four times as many decoys. So Gerald switched to all silos. His entire spread will be silos. He's running no full bodies this year at all. Talk about putting all your trust into, into something, you know, that's it. So, and this box is mine. Yeah, I got one box out of all that. Well, yellow. Yeah, how are we doing? It is the next day. I'm picking the video back up just because it was really, really hot that day and I did not want to come out to the field and sit 20 dozen decoys by myself. So a ton of you have been asking for me to do a tip video on setting big Canada spreads. Check it out. We got all the bags in the bed of the truck. So today we're going to set 20 dozen dive bomb Canada silhouettes by myself. So this is gonna be a big spread, 20 dozen by yourself. That's a lot. We all know how tough it is to set 20 dozen full body decoys. You know you need to have like three to five people at minimum for 20 dozen full body decoys. So my theory and what I wanna to prove to you guys is how much easier silhouettes make it, especially when you don't hunt with as many people, five, seven people, when you have one, two, three people, silhouettes replace full bodies and this is how easy they are to set. So we're gonna put a timer on it and we're gonna time how long it actually takes. It might take 20 minutes, it might take 30 minutes, it might take an hour, I'm not sure, but we're gonna give it a try. Let's go. So right out of the gate here, I'm gonna explain the situation. We're gonna act like we're hunting out of this tree row. This is just an evergreen tree row. And sure enough, we do have the wind to our backs. So the, so the wind is out of the south, headed north. So it's a perfect simulation. So what we're gonna do, here's the tree row behind me. We're gonna sit the spread out here. We're gonna do kind of a big W slash U. So the birds should be decoying in our face coming at the tree row. We need to keep that in mind. So that's how we're gonna sit the spread up accordingly. So first and foremost, guys, first of all, I'm gonna grab each bag, which 20 dozen, I only have four bags total to hold the 20 dozen. It's awesome, it saves so much room. So. What I'm gonna do like we normally do, I'm gonna grab the bags and I'm gonna tote them out in the field. I'm gonna place them where I want to unload them. We don't wanna unload the silhouettes at the truck or at the trailer. Go out, take your bags out. That's why Dive Bomb provides these silo bags. You take them out and you place them where you want before you start unloading them. Oh yeah, and uh, I got literally 10 dozen on my shoulders right now. Isn't that amazing? Shout out to Dive Bomb for hooking up the channel with these amazing decoys. Thank you. So you know what I think I'm gonna do, guys? It is 9.50 right now, it is 9.50. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna bring the camera along. We're gonna do some time-lapse action. I'm gonna set it up, and then once I have it all set up, we're gonna look at it, I'm gonna describe it, why I did this, why I did that. But timer on it, 9.50, let's go. I haven't never, I've never set these, this many silhouettes, so it might take me a minute to get a rhythm going. But once you get your rhythm going with any decoy, like this here, see I'm already starting to get a rhythm going. Find you a comfortable way to hold them all. You just keep grabbing them and stabbing them, baby. Grab and stab. Oh, these go up fast, real fast. So a lot of you have asked in the comments, I had to interrupt the sitting up session real quick. 
is how do you set silhouettes? You know, how do you set them in your spreads so the geese can get visibility as they can? And I had to show you this real quick. So we're gonna sit, we're gonna sit on the side, which you know the side, they're not gonna be decoying from the side, they're just gonna be glancing when they're passing by you sitting up to come into the spread. Look what these things look like from the side. I mean, they look like full bodies. I'm not even nearly done. That ain't even five dozen out yet. So that's from the side. Let's go, let's, let's see what the front of it's starting to really look like here. Look at that. That is just amazing. And it's so easy. Like I said, that ain't even five dozen yet. It hasn't even been three minutes. Yet again, I'm wasting time. I'm gonna go ahead, turn off the camera. I'm gonna sit all these things up and we'll see what time it is. Whoa, whoa. So we're all done here. 20 dozen uh, is way more than I figured it would look like. I mean, it's a ton. And it literally only took me maybe 15 to 20. I actually gabbed with the, with the property owner here. He came out and said, hey, Bob, what's up? So I was like, oh, you know, crazy me, just sitting a big old goose spread in the summertime. But let's check it out. This is the right side. So this is the right side of the spread. And uh, right here would be the kill hole. See how I have a big open hole? It starts breaking up here with big open holes. Basically now I am sitting where we would be in the tree row in the A-frame blind hunting. And let's give her a looky here. So this is the kill hole here. So we got a slight V going on. So we get, see how we loosen up here and we start getting big pockets with holes. See that big hole there, that big hole there. Then you have a big V shape here. So that's the left side. We start condensing up along the tree row with a lot of feeders. You see how many feeders I got here? See all these feeders? I like putting the feeders up close to the blind in the center of the kill hole. So they're looking at birds feeding. Why you ask? Well, because we hunt tree rows like this one on a lot, a lot of cold, cold north wind days. So them birds are hungry and they want to get out of the wind so they can eat more comfortably. So what I'm saying is I put them feeders to give them confidence to want to land closer to that tree row. A lot of birds in general, waterfowl, don't like landing right up against tree rows a lot of times. But when it's really cold, you have a lot of wind like today, but it's just bitter cold, they will land up against those tree rows quite well. So the feeders up against the blind, 10 foot, 10 yards away from the blind, that's just a confidence thing. Trying to give the birds that confidence to go, oh yeah, look at all of them feeding up against them trees. Don't be scared. Let's go land up there. So I got the truck right here and there's a little break in the trees as you can see. And the wind is coming out of the south right here and zooming in. And look at the decoys, the way the wind shakes them. Gives them a little bit of motion. Oh yeah, they look gorgeous. So this is the left side. See how I give open holes just for opportunities. See this open hole here? Big open holes, really breaking it up. This is a tip for all you guys that's been asking for big goose spread tips. Right here is our kill hole. So I'm standing in the middle of the kill hole. We would be sitting right there. So we want the geese to basically be landing right behind these guys. What are these guys doing? These guys are walking in. They're landing in the kill hole. We're demonstrating that them birds are landing in the kill hole right here and they're walking into the spread to get a bite to eat. I always put walkers right here in the kill hole walking into the feed. Here's another really good tip. This is something I really do. So now we're standing way out in the spread. Here's this side. We'd be sitting right there again. Here's this side. Look at these silhouettes. My goodness. 15 minutes for one person to put up 20 dozen. 15 to 20. 15 to 20 minutes is all it took. But at right here, so here's a kill hole yet again, guys. See, I have a family here. I have a family here. This family's walking in like they just landed out here and they're walking in. So we give them this big area, depending on what size of groups of birds is that we're decoying. The bigger groups of birds, the more area you want to give them to land. So here in Kansas where I hunt, we decoy a lot of big groups of lessers and cacklers. Don't hunt the honkers very often. We just don't get them here very often. So up by the tree row, we got it set a little tighter. The decoys are a little tighter, bunched up. And then when we get out here on these wings, like this one in here, really start breaking them up. Make family, family groups out there. The wings, all we want to do 
is we want to make a guide system to guide them into that kill hole just like this. Especially on them cold days. On this side, as you can tell again, I just used family groups to demonstrate some feeding and walking action and basically just giving them, again, that guide system to make them land right here. But now we're standing right in the middle of the kill hole and I just want to give you guys a really good perspective of what these bad boys look like. A lot of you have been questioning whether dive bomb silhouettes uh, can actually replace full bodies and I'd say this is proof. Look how good these bad boys look. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and we're going to check it out. I mean look how good these bad boys look. Wow. They look like full bodies, no lie. Whew. I'm glad we were able to do this video because you guys have just been flooding me with the big goose spread tips. I know we do a lot of big goose hunting here on the channel. You guys know, a lot of you avid subscribers know that goose hunting, it's my baby. It's something I've grown to love and what I do most here. So having these silhouettes and being able to put up 20 dozen like this by myself is a blessing. I want to give a huge shout out to Dive Bomb Industries for hooking up the channel. If it wasn't for them, we would not be doing this right now and my life wouldn't be a lot easier when it comes to decoy spreads hunting by myself or one or two guys during the work week. A lot of you guys know, a lot of you guys out there work during the work week. You can only hunt on Saturdays and Sundays. Well, that goes for a lot of my buddies as well. I can't sit those huge spreads on the weekdays like I used to. Now with Dive Bomb Industries silhouettes, I am able to do that. I hauled all these decoys in the bed of my truck and had room for three times as much as this. So I'm probably going to end up getting some more of these bad boys. But for all you guys that's been really wanting some spread tips, check it out. Like I said, how tight they are up here. We got them pretty tight. Got them pretty tight up against the tree row here. Got that big kill hole out there. On the right wall, we're starting to loosen up again. And then out there on the left wall, look how loose it gets. Just make it look real. That's the goal. Honestly, guys, not a bad looking spread here. 20 dozen, whoo, that's big. But guys, if you didn't know, I have a code that can get you a discount on these bad boys on all their socks, their silhouettes, their snow goose decoys, their duck decoys, Canada goose decoys, spec decoys, all of them. Use code BOBGUY like this right here at checkout at divebombindustries.com and save you 10% on your entire order. You can share the code with your family, friends, grandpa, it doesn't matter. Use it up before the season gets here. A lot of you have been asking me what decoys you ought to buy. And I'm not going to lie, the silhouettes, you get a bunch of them for cheap. Compared to full bodies, they are the way to go, hands down. Woo, I'm a sweating, if you can't tell. But look at there, all packed back up. All 20 dozen I picked up, again, by myself. I got them picked up faster than they went out, like usual. But 10, 15 minutes picking them up, and I was done. Now I did break a sweat because it is humid. It's still summertime here. Thank goodness we have some good wind coming. But in the winter time when it's cool, 20 dozen by myself, I bet you I barely break a sweat, if at all. But I really hope I uh, taught you guys a few things about big goose spreads. And I really hope I put some confidence under your guys' booties about these goose silhouette decoys. A lot of you have been hitting me up. Please, Bobby, do a video on the goose silhouette. Please do a big spread video. Show us how it looks. And that's what we did today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a huge thumbs up for your boy right now. And all the how-to videos. You guys have been doing great, giving me suggestions down below. So right now I want you guys, you know, this video right here, whether it's a spread video, whatever it is, drop a comment down below and let me know what how-to video you guys want me to cover next. But I want to thank you guys, each and every one of you guys for watching and always hitting the thumbs up button. Always subscribe, and all my new subscribers out there, welcome to the Bobby Guy Films community. I welcome you all. Get ready for an awesome waterfowl season. My goal has always been to be the best waterfowl channel on YouTube, and I think that we're headed there with the support of all you guys. I thank you guys so much. Again, subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.